guys are fully creative here. I thought I'd share with you how I set up my most used items on my craft desk. I have a four by six foot craft desk, craft desk that I built um, to resemble the Pottery Barn ones. But this one was super cheap because it was only $25 for the three quarter inch birch plywood. So yeah, it's standing height. And then what I, I want to show you guys what I have out on my desk for uh, most used items. So this is like the Project Life stamping area. And in the first bin, I have my most used uh, inks, mostly black. I have Versafine and Tuxedo Black Memento. And then I have my acrylic blocks. And the next one over here, that's um, going to be for Kelly stamps. I ordered a lot more, so I have about three or four more packages of the Kelly stamps coming. And then the next bin is for Heidi Swap. So all my Heidi Swap Project Life stamps. And then if you get a monthly kit, I get the Studio Calico Project Life monthly kit. So what I did was I labeled each one of these with the month so that when I go to post online, and if you post in any galleries, you need to know what kit it's from. So that way I just labeled it with the month and I can't like say I stamp with this. If I didn't have it labeled, I forget that that was for February, so. It's just an easy way. And then another thing that I did on these was I wrote on the back if it was an add-on kit and it wasn't from just a month, I wrote the name of the add-on kit and the month that it came from. So that way when I go to post or on any galleries, I know where, where to tag it. And then the next little bin, these are just the 50 cent bins or two for a dollar. And the next bin is Heidi Swap Color Shine. Another thing that I have on here, the craft desk, is I have this clear makeup organizer, and I have some of my, and the clear makeup, whatever kind of kit you get, I just put it on deck and, and have it out so that I can flip through, and I'll show you, so I can flip through it and see my cards. I put my 3x4 cards and then my 4x6 and any paper pads that I order, and then I have embellishments, Becky Higgins Corner Rounder, and stuff. You know, any little items that came in the kit go up front so I can see them. And then letter stickers and labels and chipboard are all over here. That just helps me to use up my kit first. And then once I use up that month or once I finished with the month of March, this is the March kit, then I'll just file those away by color because I have all my Studio Calico stuff filed away by color. And then next, what I have is I have also over here I have my stamping pad and my scrubber and I just filled one of these little dressing bottles remember the one calorie dressing bottles they used to have any spray bottle I just took off the label and labeled it with stamp cleaner and I refill it because it's more economical to buy the big refill at like Joanne or you can get them on sale online and so that way I can just spray my stamps and rub them off on the scrubber and that way they're clean for next time so I just thought I'd share Thanks for watching. Bye.